the game, though, like you said, the Burrow Mahomes, right? That that may have been an all-time classic, right? So here's how you know if you have an all-time classic playoff game. Do you have two really clever offenses? Yep, check, check. All right? how about two underrated defenses playing well? Yep, check, you got both those. How about two fantastic quarterbacks kind of at the top of their game going into that football game? Yeah, check. Yet people still want to blame the refs for the outcome. Check. No, I mean, seriously, that's a mark of a really, really good playoff game. You think I'm crazy. All right, go back to, like, the Brady-Belichick dynasty. No, trust me, as a, as a Pittsburgh fan, I was right there with you. That, like, is it just me or does Brady get, like, all the calls? Or do they get all the convenient calls and no calls, right? Did, did, does everything go the Patriots' way? So, like, that was always a discussion for, like, 15 years. Well, it's a dynasty and a really, really good football team. Right? Like, it wasn't because, oh, they got the best calls. Sometimes, yeah, they got some good calls. No, no, they just had the best coach quarterback for 15 years. Right? That's kind of, like, the mark of a really good dynasty, really good playoff game, really good playoff run, right? So now we look back and we go, oh, yeah, I mean, like, that, that's kind of what we're looking at right here, right? And the refs weren't perfect. Okay, I get it. And they never are, really. But there's 22 players running to close to or over 20 miles an hour on, like, every play crashing into each other, right? Footwork going a million miles an hour. Have you seen Aaron Donald? By the way, he's, like, 300 pounds. Can't see his feet when he's moving them, Right? Because he's so quick. But you know, no, no, you're right, you're right. The refs, while watching him and 21 other professional athletes, need to catch every little thing. Right? If they called a penalty on every play, the game would be, what, like six and a half hours long? It's a TV product. Right? The reason Mahomes is getting 50-some million a year. The reason Burrow's going to garner roughly the same amount. The reason that they can afford to be paid that much is because Fox is shelling out billions of dollars. Because CBS is paying a couple bill. Right? That's kind of how it works. And so, I I get you're upset, right? I've been there, right? The Jesse James catch against the Patriots. Yeah. That's a catch. Like, that, that is 100% a catch. But let's not act like those were, are they, were... Were they really a better overall team than the Patriots in the, in the height of the Patriots dynasty? Not really. No. Right? Maybe on that given Sunday, but it's not like it was a an injustice to the world that the probably the better football team ended up winning anyway. Right, and that's exactly what happened. Right, everyone loves to slow down, you know, frame by frame. You know, Twitter refs, you're right, for five frames of the play, a Chiefs lineman appear, appears to hold somebody. Yeah, you're right, for the two tenths of a second that those five frames elapse, he might have been holding somebody. But in real time, when you actually watch the game like a human being, not a robot, you saw that he kind of drives a DT into the ground, right? Mm, is what it is. Was there a little grabbing? Probably. Right, probably. But grow up. And, and people in Cincinnati are actually, they actually think that the refs blew the game. Right? Let's take a fishing, officiating out of the game. Right? I won't even count total penalties, penalty yards, right? The Chiefs were a better football team. Dare I say much better. Right? Let's look at pretty much every category you'd want to look at. How about total yards? Nope, Chiefs were better here. You can see it on the screen. Total yards, Chiefs had it. <laughs> yards per play, Chiefs had it. Chiefs were better on third down. They were better in the red zone. Better on special teams, had less turnovers, one time of possession, and had more first downs. So they moved the ball better, they moved the ball more efficiently, they didn't turn the ball over as much, they even got more production from their third and least important unit. Oh, they were better when it counted in the red zone on third down. But you know what? The refs gave that one away. It's right there. Right on, I'm not saying it's all stat-driven, but despite that, since he had a chance to win... But, I mean, even just look at the turnovers, right? Teams that lose the turnover battle lose, like, 70-plus percent of the games. Oh, and by the way, they were worse in, like, every other statistical category, like I've already mentioned. Right? I've never seen a team do so many things inferior, inferiorly, is that a word? We're going to use it, to the other team across from them in a game, yet still blame the refs. Right? Here's a thought. Maybe don't turn the ball over. Maybe don't go 33% in the red zone. Maybe don't punt the ball in the middle of the field with no hang time to Patrick Mahomes. Or, you know, yeah, Joseph Sai, it was a dumb play. Pushed Mahomes and Nails out of bounds. Or perhaps, I'm thinking, here's, here's my idea, that the Miller Lite couch guy in the suburbs of Cincy probably also wouldn't be able to stop in three-tenths of a second to not push Mahomes. Right before his toe comes out of bounds. Right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Jeff from the suburbs of Cincinnati on your 11th, probably Bush Light, 
Yeah, I'm thinking you probably wouldn't be able to do it either. That's a bang bang play. Grow up. Right? Was it the wrong play? Yes. But relax, it's not the kid's fault. Like I love I love when they put all that on, on him for one play. Did anyone else see the play before where he splits a double team and hits Mahomes throwing arm causing the third and four right before? Look, I mean, Cincinnati, they got some lean years. And I, I know they're desperate for some really high end success, high end winning. Right? And I, I know you I know you talked a big game. But complaining, I wish I could say the word, but just whining and moaning and trying to blame somebody else, that's not going to get you there. It's just not. Right, ask, ask Zach Taylor. Ask, you know, even Jermaine Pratt, the linebacker who was, who was talking to Osai, going to the locker room, listen to Osai, they all go, hey, we, should, we need to be better. We need to be better. Was it unfortunate? Yeah, but we need to be better. That's the reality of it. They lost the game. The refs just nailed the coffin. Right, since he had it. They were already laying down in it. Yeah. Right, he just got nailed by the refs. That's it. Relax. Relax.